Guys, I'm Tim 64 here with really, really exciting news. Today is Minecraft Snapshot 20W45A, and this means 1.17 snapshots are already coming out. And it's, we just got all of this stuff in the first snapshot. So we're not going to waste any time. First thing added is candles. Uh, don't know how to light them. It doesn't say how to light them in the change log, so if you could tell me how to light them, I'd appreciate it. But they come in all of the different colors for some reason. I don't know why you would want a, you know, like a cyan candle, but I mean, you could have one if you want. Uh, next is this beautiful block called the Block of Amethyst. They form inside of the of geodes. Uh, I don't know if I can find any geodes, but I will have to look into that. And also, all types of a amethyst make no noises. Listen. Make a little chiming noise and when you walk on them they do it too so that's pretty nice now you got as you can see here we got budding amethyst which makes these little amethyst buds here which you can of course mine with fortune and make amethyst related stuff like tinted glass tinted glass is glass that doesn't let in any light as you can see there's no light if we grab normal glass and we put it right here. Boom. Let's do light. So that means if you want to have, like, say, a mob grinder made out of glass, you could do that now. I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can. I can't really imagine it's, you know, useful for many other things, but hey, it's pretty amazing. Then we got two new underground blocks. We got calcite and the beautiful tough block, which have new sounds. And uh, these spawn, of course, underground with the geodes. They're, oh, of course, geo geode related. And I just love all of these blocks. They're really nice. Next, we have our friend, the copper. Starting with copper ore. Unfortunately, I have no idea where copper ore is found. They uh, generate at coal and iron level. So, whatever the levels those are, that's where they generate. And yeah, you can turn them into blocks. You got the regular copper block. You got cut copper, you got cut copper stairs, and cut copper slabs. There's also wax copper, but it has literally no difference. It's like a quartz situation. It has no difference whatsoever that I've noticed, so I'm not going to show it off because, you know, there's no reason to. But yeah, these will slightly weather over time. I believe, like, with the whole oxidation thing, it takes around 80, like, 50 to 82 days for it to fully turn into this beautiful block here. So, yeah. But apparently, waxed copper does not oxidize. So if you wax the block, it won't, nothing will happen. It will stay this beautiful color forever. It, but I like this one better, so, you know. Uh, another thing is w the wonderful lava in a cauldron. I don't know why the frick you would want lava in a cauldron. You could do it on bedrock, but I don't know why you would want this. Yeah, you can have it, though. If, I mean, there you go. And then we got some new items we got with the copper you can make. Spyglass, spyglass, spyglass. Let's face it, it's Optifine Zoom, but it has a really cool animation when you go in third person. It just kind of breaks your arm. I'm looking at you. Let's see if we can spot anything. Oh, uh, darn. It's like really like slow to move, maneuver around. Oh, hello. <laughs> Get close up details and all these new blocks. Is there really nothing around here to look at? darn look at the moon what a shame oh let's look at that squid in detail that's a nice looking squid anyways that's the spyglass it's uh just off to find zoom these are what the copper ingots look like if you if you want those they're pretty cool and then we have the most exciting thing let me just get a crud ton of blocks here just yeah just oh, thanks for stone age i appreciate it have a bundle boom cobblestone there you go you got a you got extra there you go you you want you want more you want me to show you more i mean fine all right then if i grab a whole crud ton of blocks and just keep shoving them in bundles you know it's gonna create so much more stuff but here's the trick i can put that's the wrong button i could put maybe 16 in there no put 16 in there dang it just 16 and then maybe I'll decide to put 16 of that in there or maybe I'll decide to put say 
one gravel in there. Or maybe a jungle log. Or maybe even a birch sapling. And there you go. I have all of that. And I can just, you know, unbundle it. So that's pretty flipping awesome. Unfortunately, it unbundles into your inventory instead of having its own separate inventory. Mojang, please fix that. Because if it unbundles into your inventory, it's completely useless. Either way, it's good to carry some things, I guess. Uh, last is the lightning rod, which can be made with the beautiful copper. I'm going to be honest with you. It's okay. I don't know who would play with fire spreads on, but if you do, uh, it won't burn down your beautiful wool of wood houses, and it also emits a redstone signal when struck by lightning. That squid just killed itself. So that is an amazing little thing. It's uh, It looks cool when it's in your hand, but, you know, it also floats. It's a bit weird, to be honest, but it looks cool. And that literally is everything. I will quickly go into... Uh, spectator mode to see if we can find any amethyst geodes and would you look at that instantly amethyst geodes just kind of chilling out underground so already caves are changing this mine shaft has geodes in it everywhere whoa look at this one this one's massive that's amazing so yeah that's everything in this snapshot so if you guys did enjoy the video please leave a like and i'll see you guys on the next snapshot bye